Okay. Um, can you speak on when Suge got shot at Chris Brown's party, what you know about that, like why it happened, and was Dre involved? Because I know Suge used to say that. <sighs> All right, we're about to get right into it, huh, John? All right. Let me tell y'all the truth on what happened there. It was the One Oaks Club that he's talking about in Hollywood. So, Suge and I had hooked back up in about 2008, 2009. Might have been 2007. It was probably about 2008, 2009. But prior to that, from 2006, 2007, I was working with this guy from Denver, Colorado, and he came out here and he was laundering money somehow. And he got, he ended up getting indicted. Y'all wanna look it up, his name is High Sierra Randall. But this nigga ended up getting $12 million from the, uh, from the state of Colorado somehow. I know how, but y'all look it up, y'all read it. I don't feel like going into that detail. And so he came and was coming out to California to just play. Wanted to look good and just have a ball. And so I, we was in the studio because that's when Bob Gotti, uh, I was trying to help him get his son off the ground. And we was working on something called 1800 Block Entertainment where we had some stuff going on. And the realist was out doing his thing, but he was never really signed to 1800 Block Entertainment. But he was kind of helping Bob Gotti get his son, you know, rapping career going because Bob Gotti had came into some money. And he was, you know, wanted to believe in little Gotti. Um, and it was blowing him up. So we had booked out can -Am. And this dude came in town because he needed some security. And this limousine company called me and said, Reggie, you got some guys you can put on them? And I was like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put two guys on them. And uh, he was just really coming to town buying jewelry. So his wife had this, this, uh, this orders that she wanted to, to uh, that she was trying to promote from Colorado. Uh, I forget his name. Um, Day Day. Day Day was his name. He was a good singer and all of that, but he wasn't, he didn't have that marketing track. You know, back then y'all had the Cisco's and, you know, even though he was gay as a mug to me, but people that had that look that, that, that was blowing up. And so he wanted to meet me. He kept wanting to meet me. And, and so I told them, I said, y'all can bring him up to the studio, bring him up to Canal. So he was up there. And he was originally from Texas. Him and Rillis met, met up with each other. And they, they, they clicked. And he was like, ah, well, it's 1800 blocks up. Y'all can have mine. But I like this dude, the Rillis. I like him. And he was from Oak Cliff area. And the Rillis was from Oak Cliff. And he wanted to mess with the Rillis. And so I was like, all right, so. We entered into agreement with them, and that's when we uh, later got it, ended up, you know, hooking up with Ray J, and and I even got Ray J over there because Ray J was had just lost his job working with Brandy um, on that TV show that just got canceled, and and so Ray J was like saying, "Man, Reg, I need fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars a month. That's what my budget is, and I'm I need this." So I was like, "All right." So I ended up getting him a deal with this dude uh, uh, from True, True Dad Entertainment where he was just looking out for him. And we was going out there promoting because this dude, what he was trying to do was justifying this money. So he was trying to make it seem like he had all the artists and stuff. I even took him and started getting in promoting some Mayweather fights because um, I, I knew Goosen. And we ended up meeting up with, well, I actually, I knew a dude named Tony Brown who knew Goosen. Tony Brown was a dude that um, he the one that kind of put together the deal with Ted Fields uh, to do that, that movie Waste Deep. So anyway, we ended up making money and doing stuff with this dude from True Dad Entertainment. 
Detail come around, which was L.A. Buck, which is Ray J. Boy. They cool to this day. And and um, Detail was this hot producer. Later, they ended up doing One Wish for, for Ray J. But they were already doing some, some work together. And so now, I think it was knock, Knockout Entertainment that Ray J had. But Ray J couldn't, you know, take care of these guys no more. So I started taking care of them. So I did a 10-song deal with Detail. Well, I gave Detail, at, well, not me. I had the guy give him, well, I was running stuff, but I had the guy give him money so he could be okay. And he was just promised to do 10 songs for me. And so in the, me, in the during all of that time, Detail came and blew up and he ended up getting a deal with Akon. And and so Detail still was working with me, but he, you know, now he got this deal. So now the dude get arrested and he go to jail. And um, we'll get into that a little bit more. But so now I'm Detail wanted to meet Shug. He loved Shug Knight. Everybody wanted to meet Shug Knight. So me and Shug were starting to deal back with him because now he had filed bankruptcy. And uh, he was like, Reg, come back. I need you back over here. Help me. You know, these trustees ain't listening to me. And Reg, I need you back. So I'm back. I go and start hanging back out with Shug. And um, me and him start working together again. And we we going around. He told me, Red, just, just go buy a, 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 a trash can, a, tra a, a, a dump truck. Because we're going to go drive around. We're going to collect money from everybody we owe. And so those were the mission we was on. We was going around getting money from QD3, Baby Faze there. Everybody. I can tell y'all so many stories. People was hating us back then. Hating the seals come. Hating. Hate. <laughs> and they, they, they didn't want to take no calls from us. And so now, sure. He was like, oh, you got this dude detail? Okay, we're going to get money from Akon. We're going to push up on Akon. I'm like, all right. So that's when uh, that's when Magic, y'all heard, heard the story. It was in the paper when Magic went to Detail House and robbed Detail and took some stuff from Detail and all of that. And so things are going on. So Detail is just going crazy. Like, what's going on? And I'm like, I don't know. Uh, let me let me try to slow him down. Let me try to slow him down. So now the Super Bowl weekend. And Shug goes out there to Arizona. Guess who he sees out there? Akon. <laughs> so now at the Super Bowl weekend, he up there pushing up on Akon. And uh, <laughs> but Akon had a bodyguard with him. And back then, she was he was just rolling with him, his girl, and usually me or this one dude from Denver Lane. But for some reason, I wasn't going. I was like, man, our money ain't right. My wife was like, you ain't going out there spending no money at no Super Bowl. We, we here trying to pay our house note. My house note back then was seven, dollars $8,000 a month. You got to get this house no pay. And so I was like, all right, I ain't going. So I didn't go. But sure, you know, he still loves to go. He'll go make, find some way to make something happen. So he go out there alone. It was him and Toy. But, you know, Sugar, Sugar, y'all can talk all that. Sugar will confront you by himself. Sugar ain't, as we know from the, you know, what he ended up in prison for now. He ain't, he ain't scared to confront a group of guys. But this particular night, he took a L, got knocked out. And so, well, Suge is one of those that, okay, we can all take a L. Everybody take a L. I ain't never took a L, but you can take a L, right? But life gave me an L, Well, I ain't never took a nail from a man. But I don't take L's in life from this life. But um, so anyway, he took L that night. But he didn't forget. So now I answer your question. I know people hate when I do that, but I like to tell the whole story. So he's mad. So 
he hears the Akon brothers in the studio. His name is Boo. He's Muslim now, so he's trying to get his, you know, religion. And, and you know, I hear he's a very spiritual brother. But I'm going to tell the story anyway. But I don't like to speak on guys that are trying to, you know, be upstanding and positive. Not saying he wasn't always that way. I don't know. But I was trying to have some dealings with him a few years ago, and I know that he uh, really into the to the, uh, his religion now. But anyway, so Suge slaps him in the studio. And, and they had him running down the street. So now Boo Man. So Boo connected out here with this dude from Mansville named T Money. And uh, T Money, from all the accounts, I don't know him. But from people that I talk to that knows him, my nigga Wack and all of them said, this nigga's a straight up 100 dude. And so now T, you know, Boo and them go to T Money. And T Money gets on the phone with Suge and trying to, you know, work it out. Like, hey, if these niggas owe you some money, I'm going to make them pay. What's up? You know, what, what's going on? But Suge being Suge. Probably had a chick sitting next to him, laying next to him in the bed or whatever, or next to him, or whatever. He started banging on T-Money. And so the person that was on the phone that facilitated the call was like, sure, man, this dude is real. This dude, you know, he's saying that these dudes owe you money, you're going to make it happen. But why are you banging on this dude? And she wouldn't let up. So, T Money. Now, this is where it get crazy. T Money somehow getting checks from Dr. Dre. So this is why you always hear Shug saying Dr. Dre has something to do with it. Because they found wire transfer from Dre to this T Money dude. Could be something unrelated. I'm not saying, I'm not speculating. But this is what Suge and his people believe. That Dre, since he sent the money to him, he has something to do with it. Suge is like, okay. So they, they find out this. But this is after the fact that they find out about this money transfer and stuff. But this T-Money dude is the one that allegedly is the one that shot Suge at the Chris Brown party and the one that's allegedly on the tape where they got some off-duty police officer, either sheriff's or LAPD, not sure which one, that I heard resign. And so because he was working security at the Club One Oaks, got him out and took him and took this T-Money dude to the airport and got him out of town. That's the real on what happened. It's a lot of dots. It's a lot of speculation in between. But those, the facts to the story, well, however the dots are, are dotted or 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 goals, who knows? But that's it. That's all. One Oaks hasn't settled with Shug yet. I know he placed a lawsuit where they pretty much saying, you brought that element to our club. I know the young lady that got shot in the butt got her settlement. And that's it. That's all. That's what happened.